This dude jumped the fence for a third time. Welcome to a nerd. This is most likely the way he jumps out. We're about to make this completely dog proof. We're gonna have to remove that since apparently he could jump over it. I'm saying this is the way just because he was over here and he was directly looking at this freaking corner. This is probably the way he gets out, that bastard. We're gonna have to grab some wood and build a collar fence extending out to over here so we could cover some of this. Pretty sure he won't jump to the neighbors. That would be another worry. If he just jumps to this fence and then jumps over, it, well, that would be too insane. He's not a monkey. Why does Crypto jump the fence? This dog is a freaking savage. I noticed that he always wants to be out. Never good. Why are you crying? Let's go ahead and check out what wood we have besides this morning one. This over here would be the other way. I do have to switch things up. That would be the biggest step for him to just reach out. I need to fix this side as well. He's gonna remain chained up until I'm done with this whole process. Yesterday, I did have the homie Blue here. I left him in the backyard while I took Blue back and he freaking ran half the block to me. One of you guys did send in this scarf, so thank you for sending that in. Thank you so much for sending this in. Let's put these on the rat. Are these too big for him? Oh, look at him. That's freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much for sending the horns. I do have a P.O. box. If you guys did not know, I'll go ahead and throw all the info right here. If you guys would like to see something shown in the channel, that's the best way to do it. P.O. Box. I haven't been receiving that much mail. Go ahead and send mail so we can make some fan mail videos. Those are always the best. Mm, calm down, you savage. Look at that tripod, though. Why do you leave? Why do you leave? Why do you leave? Oh, I know what that sounds like. Is there YG? Are you fucking serious, bitch? The topic we have all been waiting for. Should I neuter crypto? I know it'll kill testosterone. That's the biggest reason I would do it. I was planning to stud crypto out. I could go the complete opposite direction of that and neuter him. Should I neuter him? Let me know in the comments down below. We could completely go that direction. Or should we stud him out? I have no idea at this point. I wish I was that good at tongue punching. Quick little update, Crypto is still tied up. I did make what I believe is where he breaks out higher, which is that corner right there. I did make that higher. I'm not gonna let him loose until all of this is higher, as well as the back area. Once these two areas are secured, it's escape proof for him. It's probably like extremely horny. We're still on the tripod. It's looking awesome. It is now completely raining outside. We got the dogs in the garage. The homie Nismo's under the tree, acting savage, just whistling. I'm gonna go ahead and leave him in here. Since it is raining and the fence is still not up, he was in there overnight off leash. This morning I did hear him trying to get over. The rat! Is that the rat? Box inside a box. Freaking shock collar. Remote. Good weight to it. These are the prongs. I wonder if it's charged. It says it's charged. The collar itself. A nice weatherproof leather type feel. Ooh, with a big boy. What the hell is this? For your dog's comfort and safety, please ensure the conductive screw covers are worn on stainless steel probes as below. Okay, so you have to cover the tips. So this is the shock test dog training collar. He has longer fur, so let's go ahead and put the longer ones. Let's see the size difference. Now, we are able to put this on the fruit. This is for 10 pounds and over. Here's a little size difference. They just screw on. Got the shot collar right here.
is that? We're gonna go ahead and put it on him. This is gonna be the first time. He has had a shot collar on him before, previously once. But it was at the dog park, so I'm not gonna go ahead and include that since that's not a good environment to have a shot collar on. We got the collar on him. We do have the long prongs. Let's go ahead and turn this on. So you turn it on by holding it. This is the remote right here. Smell it. He knows, dude. He sees people from the dog park. To turn this on, all you have to do is hold down the M button. The LCD screen will pop up. This is the display. That top thing indicates whether it's on vibrate, shock, noise. The M changes the modes. There's a light on this thing. Anytime and every time he looks at where he jumps at, I'm gonna make the noise. Or should I shock him? Hmm. Maybe we should vibrate it first. So that right away. Right away he went to the door and sniffed it, so I vibrated it. There he goes. No. That was pretty much the introduction of the shock collar. Still haven't shocked him yet. Crypto, come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Still not sure what level he feels the shock on. Someone actually had a really good recommendation on how I should introduce this to him. They said, put the collar on him, put him on a leash, have him in your backyard, steadily increase the level of shock. The correct place to put the shock collar is under their chin. I should cut all the extra flap. So let's go ahead and cut the flap. These dogs do have a lot of fur. If it looks like his collar is a little bit too tight, these dogs just have a bunch of fur. Let's go ahead and grab a leash. Good boy. Good boy. Make sure your dog's completely calm before you start this. All we're doing is trying to find the level where Crypto notices the shock. Go ahead and make sure he knows it's on him by turning on the noise. Good boy. Right there you guys noticed he came to me, which is pretty much the only thing you would want this for is for your dog to come to you. Make sure you introduce it so your dog likes it. Getting your dog to come to you should be your ultimate goal. So for that, your dog has to like you. The shock collar should be placed as high up on the throat as possible. Now that he's calm, let's go ahead and put it on shock all the way down to 28, 30, 5, 40. Oh yeah, he noticed it. I saw his ass twitch. 60. Okay, I saw him twitch on that one. When would you actually use this? When you're trying to call your dog to you is the best time to use this. This dog is extremely good at coming when I call him, except at the dog parks. I will have to be trying this at the dog park when the environment is controlled. If there is any sign of aggression, you're not supposed to use a shot collar. Speak! <laughs> Good boy, come on. Yeah. He's like, we go run now. The only problem I see here is that he could probably step onto this, which will help him hop over. He could probably jump this right here as well. So I'm gonna have to make this a lot higher. I'm gonna add this extra plywood. This is like the rat. We decided that instead of going higher, we're just gonna go ahead and go outwards. So this way, whenever he looks up, he looks at a wall. Discourage him on jumping. All I'm gonna do now is make my own version of a coyote fence. I wish he would try to latch onto that. Alright, let's do it. I'm not trying to harm him, I'm just trying to keep his ass restrained. Pretty sure he won't jump over, that's extremely high. But well, that's pretty much it. It's been about three days, he doesn't seem to want to jump.
I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any difficulty trying to keep your dog in, the easiest thing you could do to keep a dog happy is exercise them. That's going to go ahead and be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.